Hey guys, how's it going? It's a beautiful Monday here in Washington. Hopefully you're having a great one. In my last video, I said I was going to aim for doing a video a week. Uh, I'm going to at least do one a month, but I'm aiming for one a week. So the easiest way for me to do that right now with the busy work schedule and all that is to do tone videos, making patches in the Helix. So I'm going to start a series, so to speak, called The Box. It's going to be two parts. First one's called What's in the Box, where I make presets and patches using stuff that's just stock in the Helix. Nothing crazy. The other one is called Thinking Outside of the Box, where I make patches using stuff that's not in the Helix. So IRs, pedals, you name it. And then I will do a quick little playthrough. And then for the stuff that's inside the box, I'll post a, the patch and custom tone and the stuff that's not in the box I'll at least show you how I did it and go like that all right cool also because I can't ever remember to get the stuff right on the first take today we're gonna do two patches in one uh, one inside the box and one out so the first patch we're gonna be looking at today is my what's in the box patch that's based off of the what's in the helix called the German ubersonic that I believe, and correct if I'm wrong, is based off the Bogner Ubershaw head. A lot of people have raved about this head, and I'm going to be completely honest, I hate it. <laughs> it's just not my cup of tea. But I did get something that, while it doesn't have the chord clarity that you would use for, like, Gent, or you guys that love to say the word prog, even though I don't think anything I do is prog, uh... It does have a very good just meanness to it for your standard chords. Hey, little buddy. My beagle's down here. He's uh, craving attention. Uh, like, it would be probably a really good one for, you know, your typical new metal stuff like Chimera back in the day. Or you could probably get away with trying to do some Meshuggah stuff. Either way, um, as far as what I normally go for, it's not my favorite. But it was a good enough patch to post. So here it is. stay on the ground so he wanted to come up and say hi the next patch we're going to show you guys is my thinking outside the box patch it's a line six fatality head block or whatever you want to call it i don't feel comfortable calling them sims even though that's what they are uh this one is in my opinion probably one of my favorite patches ever made just because it suits my style best. It's got a lot of bottom end definition, but still a lot of clarity. Uh, I did a few things outside of the box of this one. There is an IR that I loaded in and mixed with a uh, dual cab block. Yeah, a dual cab block. And then in front of the amp, I boosted it with my uh, precision drive. Some stuff that you're not going to hear that's also in there. Uh, my exotic wah pedal is in the front. Um, I put a whole bunch of crap in this uh, preset just in case when I use it later. It's got a flanger, a phaser, all that stuff. And I will show you somehow put on the screen somewhere. Like little screen grabs of the Line 6 edit. Anyway, let's get to the sound clip. <laughs> 